Is that who you think it is? Mercy, girl. I'm coming for you. It's Mercy. Genius doctor, genius scientist, genius inventor. No matter how many times you blink, she's still there. And you're completely pain struck. <laughs> uh, I had to click it. Listen. Being the presence of a genius doctor has reminded you of that pain in your stomach you've been experiencing for the last couple months. You should probably get that checked out. It hurts worse with all the butterflies you feel looking at her. Hi, Mercy. Zap. Heart. Do I hear the sound of a heart beating fast and smell the sweat of your palms? I'm Cupid, the hero of love in all its varieties. It is my sworn duty to answer the cries of all who desire to love and guide them to fulfillment. Um, let's see. I think it's my anxiety seeing Mercy. <laughs> do I wish to win the heart of Mercy? Yes, I do. Yes, I want to win the heart of Mercy. <laughs> Sorry, why are trivial portions important to weighing Mercy's heart? Test my unparalleled Mercy knowledge. Can I look up one thing on the Overwatch fan wiki first? I am waiting. Sorry, why are trivia questions important to winning Mercy's heart? I expected more from the champion of love than dating sim tropes. <laughs> if you prefer, we can test your knowledge of the medical sciences. Hey, Cupid, I'm just playing with you. Maybe you should. I might surprise you. Or perhaps we should discuss something more nebulous, like why Noel Sector is attacking the world in the upcoming story missions. All these little lore tidbits. Mm, the Overwatch development team hasn't even released those details yet. That's not fair. Hmm, <laughs> true. Do you know what might be fair then? Trivia. Trivia about Mercy would be fair. Even if it is, some might say, a trope. Alright, alright. Test my unparalleled Mercy knowledge. Confidence. I hope it is well placed. What is Mercy's real name? <laughs> Miss Lordy. Angela Zeigler. Incorrect. It's Dr. Angela Zeigler. Okay, Cupid Hanzo Shimada. Stop that. What is her favorite food? The tears of careless DPS heroes. <laughs> That's quite dark. <laughs> Are you blushing, Cupid Hanzo? I like that. She will not do better. That's okay. I'm coming for you next, Hanzo. What, a, what is Dr. Zeigler's field of research? Biology, healing, the She has a PhD in Heroes Never Dieism. <laughs> this is rigged. There are no right answers. I'm clicking this. She has a PhD in Heroes Never Dieism. I will not dignify that answer with a response. The answer is applied nanobiology. More specifically, biotic technology. Same difference. In the matters of the heart, the details matter. As much as I hate to say it, you're right. I give you this point. I am always right. But do not worry, my magical powers will alleviate you above your incompetence. Wait, I thought there was no magic in the Overwatch setting. No more questions. Okay. Now, Mercy is a highly accomplished woman. What would impress her the most? I thought you said no more questions. After this one, tell me the most impressive thing about you. 
I'm a pretty nice person. I'm really funny. I'll tell her how many hours I clocked on Overwatch 2. Can't I just say hi? Hmm. Say I'm really funny. <laughs> humor is an excellent icebreaker. And what fate? You are at a comedy club, a place of humor, doing open mic night. He hands you the mic. Click. Oh. The spotlight illuminates you. Perfect. I got you, Mercy. And Mercy turns her head. She's looking at you. Mercy, do you want to hear my favorite joke about the periodic table? Why doesn't the surgeon like operating on elbows? I want to know. <laughs> Why doesn't the surgeon like operating on elbows? He paused for dramatic effect. She swore to do no arms. <laughs> oh, you're adorable, Mercy. The audience's silence goes beyond mere description. It's a living beast, vast, timeless, hateful. It bears down you, on you with deadly intent. Then Mercy laughs, a full-on, chain-snorting laugh. The exhilaration hits you like a damage-amplifying beam, a well-timed resurrect. She should probably get her sinuses checked, though. <laughs> you sit down at the nearby table, glowing. Out of the corner of your eye, Mercy stands and heads over to you. Oh. But um but um <laughs> Hello? Hey, Dr. Zeigler. <laughs> I just wanted to say that was a very good joke. I'm glad it tickled your funny bone. That phrase is so strange. The funny bone isn't really a bone. It's a nerve called the ulnar nerve, and it's responsible for the sensations in your fourth and fifth fingers, your palm, and... But of course, I understood your joke, which is also very good. Thanks, and that ulnar nerve trivia was also very good. It wasn't humorous, though. <laughs> ah, you're funny! <laughs> you're smart and funny? OP. Mobility and overpowered are not the same thing. <laughs> Writer's nerd, Mercy was not meta at the time of writing this. Please be merciful if she is by the time the sim releases. That was supposed to be a compliment. I know, I was just tired of being admired. Tired of love uninspired. Oh, she got poetry too? Was that a reference? Yes, I'm surprised this made it past revisions. I'm surprised this dating sim even exists. Indeed, that too. Speaking of dating sims, we should probably proceed to the next date. I was thinking something fun, like dinner at a fancy restaurant. I'd love to join you, Mercy. I'd love to join you! Mercy smiles. You could die happy right now, and she would just resurrect you back. Fantastic! I will meet you at the Cafe Azure at Circuit Royale. As she walks, no floats away. You can't believe it. You're going to have dinner with Mercy tomorrow at... Wait a minute. Circuit Royale? That's not in Midtown. If you want to make it in time for your dinner tomorrow, you better queue up now. How do you think things went? You did quite well. You anticipated her feelings and interest. You're off to a fine start. Thank you, Hanzo! The first date is finished, but the journey ahead is a long and fraught peril. We will endure these trials together. I appreciate your help, Sir Hanzo. Luckily, the hopeful future of Overwatch is a very reasonably priced transatlantic train. You arrive in Monaco in a few short hours. 
Supercars zip by in the distance, the aroma of high-end dining wafts from nearby tables. The menu is in front of you and you're cursing yourself for skipping French class all those years ago. It's exactly three minutes and two seconds past the time of your dinner date, and Mercy is still nowhere to be found. Maybe she changed her mind. Maybe there's an international crisis somewhere. She had to go. Maybe. Maybe she's just running fashionably late. Three minutes and 57 seconds. Four minutes and 19 seconds. She must hate you. Are you going to eat the breadsticks or just let them sit there? I'm so sorry. She's flustered, having rushed over here. I was working on a new dissertation and I wasn't keeping track of the time. I got here as fast as I could. Do forgive me. Should I ask for a special thanks in her dissertation? I didn't apply any work for it. I mean, it's kind of funny though. And she likes funny. <laughs> yes, perhaps. How much do you know about photon counting CT detectors? And how it relates to uh, nanobiology. You are treading up dangerous ground. <laughs> I know, Cupid, I know. How about we talk it through during dinner? I hope you're good at making up believable scientific facts. <laughs> Me too, Cupid. Me too. She's worth it, though. Have you ordered yet? This place does have a fabulous beignet de flores de courgettes. I'm assuming that's how you say it. Fried zucchini flowers. You take a deep breath, nod, and look back at the menu. Order the brochure museli. Order the chicken nuggets. Fidget with the menu. Mm, I don't think it needs to be the most expensive thing either. Just something fancy? You order the brochure Museli because having breakfast for dinner is one of the finer pleasures in life. And this was Mercy's recipe in the Overwatch cookbook. <laughs> Do you like brochure Museli as well? Because I also love it. It's the best breakfast. Yes, it is. Although we are having dinner. I don't let society's expectations dictate my preferences. Me either. It's gorgeous! This is her recipe? The bowl of museli arrives. Clusters of bright happy berries and a trail of green and brown nuts and seeds on a bed of white mush. Silence falls as you two eat. That awkward bit during dinner dates where you can't decide if you should converse or eat or talk while eating and risk spraying your date with freshly chewed food. Cupid groans. Are you truly such an amateur? Start a conversation. What do I talk about? Something about her. What kind of hobbies do you enjoy? So what have you been up to since Overwatch fell apart? Mm. Mm. If I ask about a dissertation, I may. Well, she asked for us to talk about it during dinner, right? But I could put myself in a hole by saying something that I actually have no knowledge on. Asking about her hobbies still talks about herself, but actually that's a pretty good one. And then I could risk doing the same thing I did with Genji and <laughs> make her a little sad asking her about Overwatch stuff. I feel like the hobbies thing is personal enough without making her sad or without digging us into a hole. So that's what I'm gonna go with. I like volunteering at clinics around the world and collecting crystals. Oh, that's cute. Non canonically, of course. Like non canonical healing crystals? 
Oh, wow. My favorite is the rose quartz. It represents love, healing, and compassion. Ah, it represents love, healing, and compassion, right? Right! You high-five Cupid. Mercy looks at you, concerned. You forgot that only you can see him. <laughs> My godly knowledge and love does not cover how to recover from such tomfoolery. <laughs> it's okay. So helpful. Uh, just stretching the old latissimus dorsi. Anyway. <laughs> what does being a hero feel like? I don't think she... She said she doesn't like all the admiration. She's tired of being admired. For doing the right thing. So. Since she mentioned talking about her dissertation. We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it out. <laughs> Your dissertation sounds interesting. Tell me more. Do you understand the nuances of medical imaging and meta machine learning? I know a little bit, actually. Hmm, let's be honest. Digging ourselves a hole would not be great. Ah, Jesus. I could lie, but it'd be interesting to learn. So I was right the first time not to pick it. Nothing. Nothing of note. Do you miss it? The missions? The adventures? Uh, I'm doing badly. <laughs> uh, I guess she does want to know what it being a hero feels like. <laughs> All of them were bad options. You know, no one believes me when I say it's not that great as people think. The world saw me as Mercy, a guardian angel, noble and perfect, but I'm also just Angela Zeigler, and I am not perfect. And when the world saw that, saw me, they were disappointed. I don't mind being Mercy. If the world needs her, then I will be there. But I wish... I wish they would also welcome Angela. Oh, mercy. Wow. She doesn't like being the center of attention. Fidgeting would make things awkward. I need you, Angela. She chokes on her sip of water. The other patrons look over, losing disdain at her gosh behavior. You discreetly slide a napkin towards her. You okay? Yes, I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. But she looks down, face still pink. Thank you for saying that. It's nice to hear. I was wondering, I'm volunteering at a clinic in Cairo tomorrow. Would you like to see Angela trying to save the world? Cairo, Egypt? I literally can't miss it unless I stop there. Stop here. She beams at you and soars away, leaving a lingering scent of perfection. Well, perfect to you. Well, one way or another, the date is complete. Thanks so much. How did our night go? She seems happy with you. Only through carelessness, you will lose her heart now. But there is still another date in your future. Do what you can to prepare. I sense this one will be the most important of all. The third date awaits. Let us go. These dates are kind of hard. <laughs> you gave me bad answers. I knew they were bad answers, but I was like, dang. Hmm. There's no time to waste. As soon as the airship touched down on Cairo, it was straight to the clinic. It's a modest clinic, bright and clean. Angela hands you a pair of scrubs and she puts on a lab coat. As she tends to patients, you help as much as you can. Always mocked. Paperwork filed and sorted. Supplies stocked. 
You sit down in the break room, exhausted. Angela enters. You straighten up immediately. Hi, Angela. You must be tired. I'll make you some coffee. She hands you a cup of something that looks like coffee. It smells like coffee, but it's definitely not quality coffee. Her genius does not extend to the very sterile arts, if such a thing exists. Tortured coffee beans? Step. I cannot say that. You can't say that, even if it's true. At least if you're trying to get with somebody, you can't say that. Um, drinking it enthusiastically. Might make her happy. Putting the cup down, she'll probably ask about it. Mmm. Mercy, my dear. <laughs> Mercy. We'll try to drink s some of it. You drink it enthusiastically. It's endearingly revolting, but strong. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. I know it's terrible, but there's plenty more, so help yourself. Your stomach gurgles in protest, but hey, it'll keep you awake. Everyone's telling me that you're a great help. Keep it up. Got you, Mercy. She leaves. Her compliment energizes you more than any cup of coffee. Get back to volunteering. You head back into the clinic lobby, picking up coffee grounds from your teeth. Oh, is that bad? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll deal with it. You're quite the brave one. Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> you recognize that quiet, white, wry, wry voice. You turn around and it's... Anna! No one has experienced Angela's coffee and come out smiling the other end. Anna, the Anna Amari legendary sniper. Original Overwatch Strike Squad member, the bane of most of your matches. <laughs> what is she doing here? Anna, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Oh, I'm always aching somewhere. You know that. And who is this? This is Lordy, my... She blushes, Percy Pink. Mercy Pink. TM. <laughs> date. I'm Angela's date. I can't believe this volunteering stuff got me a chance to meet Anna Amari. I'm just helping out Angela for the day. Mm, I think she'll like confidence. <laughs> date. I'm Angela's date. Anna's eyes pin mercy in place. Dr. Angela Zeigler, are you blushing? Absolutely not. It's extremely hot here. Hmm. Her gaze pierces you. You know those eyes have seen the world's most dangerous criminals and their final moments. I've always told Farah to look for someone who's not afraid to speak up. I'm glad you found someone like that, Angela. It was nice meeting you, Lordy. You too, Anna. She leaves. Angela clears her throat and avoids eye contact with you. Um, I'll see you when the shift ends. You're alone, wondering what just happened. Well done! You impress Anna Amari! Thank you, Cupid. I could get everybody if I wanted to. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks for all your help. You didn't do anything this time. That's ass. Where the heck were you? Some mortals frighten even the gods themselves. The important matter is you impressed a close friend. Anna's opinion of you will heavily influence your fate with Dr. Zeig. And speaking of fate, are you ready to see how your journey ends? Yes, I am pretty confident because that is what Mercy wants. 
Yes, I'm pretty confident. We will see. Do you have a moment? I want to talk about something with you. Follow Mercy. Angela leads you to the top floor of the clinic where there's a rooftop terrace with stunning views of Cairo. Wow! <laughs> Spectacular, isn't it? I come up here often after a long shift. You both take in the view of the city, the Nile sparkling orange from the setting sun, and the high-rise apartments and freeways gathered around its shores. So what did you want to talk about? I wanted to thank you for these last few days together. You saw me for who I really am, and instead of judgment or expectations, you gave me humor, compassion, and kindness. That someone like you exists in this world, it makes me want to believe in it a little stronger. Fight for it a little harder. I want to show you something. Take my hand. Come see this world from above, as I do, in all its beauty. Oh. I would go anywhere with you. I would, Mercy, I would. The Rockery's wings spread open. Angela takes your hand and you both soar into the clouds. I've known many heroes, but you are mine. Oh my god! Mercy, that is the cutest line ever. You have embarked on the journey of love and found what you desire at the end. Love takes many forms, but it is always true. May you cherish this love with mercy forever and always. <laughs> I found love in Midtown. Mercy's angel! Awesome. Eleven. You and Mercy really hit it off. A match made in Midtown. Kids. Hard print twelve. <laughs> oh, ten. Yeah, I found love in Midtown. Right. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. That was the Mercy Path in Lover Watch. And if you like this, check out my other video on Genji, and we will find out how we can get Hanzo for the next video. So keep a lookout for that, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.